Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale and we have a little bit of a two-part video today. So I'm a full-time reseller, welcome to my channel. If you see anything that you're interested in purchasing in this video, here are the ordering instructions on how to do so. Um, this will be a number video, a number video, so just make sure you are giving me the number of the item that you would like to purchase along with a brief description. Email to that email address. Please, please, please check the sold list. In the comment section before you email me, refresh the video after you're watching so you can see the most up-to-date list. Refresh means to go out of the video and come back in, or you can press the refresh button, which looks like a, an arrow in a circle, on your computer browser, or phone or tablet. Okay, the rest of the instructions are here. Since it is Monday, I will be holding your items for this week if you would like. I have a live purse auction coming this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern, and then my usual purse sale this Friday. If you do not advise me to hold your items, I will add shipping and ship your items at my next shipping day, which will be tomorrow because I have to get out my jewelry subscription boxes. If you're interested in a jewelry subscription box or if you wanna learn what it is, the um, link will be in the description box along with these ordering instructions. Okay, so we have a two part video. The first part of this video um, is thanks to a subscriber. Um, I'm not sure if she wanted me to say her name, but I'll just say her initials, M-B. Um, she sent me this box of jewelry. It's, it's not a big box. It's, you know, it's a small box, but it is full. And she said, um, you know, she likes to get the Goodwill blue boxes and other um, jewelry boxes like that. And she kind of just, you know, has a lot of leftover. So she sent it to me and asked if I would maybe consider donating a portion of the money that I make to an animal shelter or something like that. So I offered one better and I said that I will donate all the money that I make from this jewelry that she sent me. And it's going to go to this um, rescue. This is the rescue that Dallas was rescued from, Nico was rescued from, and both of my sister's dogs. So this is Adora Bully Paws and Claws. It is owned and operated by Regina. Um, I don't want to give out her last name, you know, just in case, but um, they she is based out of the Bronx, New York, um, which is about an hour from me. But she, you know, adoptions can happen anywhere. Like if you don't have to be in New York or in the Bronx, um, but she does not even have an actual rescue. So she, um, you know, relies on fosters, um, people that maybe can just do, you know, hold temporarily um, until uh, there she finds somewhere else. She also works with a lot of the animal shelters where she can place dogs that are rescued in the animal shelter, um, you know, temporarily until they are found a foster or a permanent home. Um, so that's what, you know, she re also relies on emergency fosters. That was what Kyle and I were when we got Dallas. Um, she asked if we would, you know, emergency foster him. So we did. And, you know, a couple months later, we decided to keep him. <laughs> so anyway, this is, I donate to her pretty regularly. Um, so this is definitely going to be awesome to be able to donate any of the money that I make, obviously minus the PayPal fees, um, <clears throat> I will be donating, you know, the money I make from this jewelry. So this is her Facebook if you wanted to um, check her out. 
Um, she, you know, does, she doesn't only rescue bully breeds, but that is her, you know, main focus. Um, because a, most of the, most of the shelters in the city and in like the Bronx area are kill shelters. So she will also rescue dogs from the euthanasia list on these kill in these kill shelters so she'll pull them from shelters um so here's just a quick look at some of the doggies that are available i usually share out you know every post that i catch anyway um in hopes that maybe we can find you know some of these doggies a home so see, she has like um, Huskies and little Charles Cavaliers. So not just all bully breeds. Um, you know, she's rescued a lot of dogs from some really, really mean, mean and horrible situations. Um, and she does this all based on donations and basically out of her own pocket. Um, she has a house in the Bronx and when she can't find somebody to foster a dog or, you know, give them a, a temporary home, she takes them in herself. And she has like five or six dogs of her own. So, and, you know, she just has a really big heart and, you know, does some really great stuff. Okay, so enough about that. Let's, um, whew, let's get into the jewelry. So I have no idea what's in here. Um, so we're just going to go through it. I did open it first already, obviously. So, you know, we didn't have to go through that, but we're going to go through it piece by piece. And then I have a thread up 15 piece jewelry, um, rescue box that we're going to open afterwards. Okay. So let's see what we got and what we can donate to Adorabully. All right, let's bring you guys in a little bit. I might have to go a little closer, but we'll see. All right, so here's a little, ow, I just like, that's really sharp. The little tack pin, I was just gonna see if there was maybe another one that I can lot this with, but I don't think so. Okay, so we have a little um, Hard Rock Cafe 2009. I might make like a little craft lot, so. Let's actually do that and we'll give you a good deal on, and it may not be like necessarily craft pieces per se, that was in the bottom of the bag, but we'll just do like a good deal. Like this is, is outdated. So I'll put that and we'll do a little craft lot toward the end. All right, this I think is broken. Yeah, that looks broken, but we'll put that in the craft lot. You never know what somebody might be able to think up to repurpose or upcycle something. Um, I don't really do illusion necklaces. As you can see, they get all bent up, but maybe somebody can take care of those beads and turn them into something else. Here's something missing, a bead. So we will just put that in the craft. This kind of looks cool. So this is like a Pandora style bracelet. It's gold tone. Let's see if this closes. Yeah, so this is good. This um is in really good condition. This is a size six and three fourths. So remember, you'll want something a little bit larger because once you start putting charms on this, it's going to start taking away at the length. So six and three fourths, if you're a size six, you know, five, size five, five and a half, six, six and a quarter, this will work and you'll still be able to get some charms on there. So we will start with that piece. And I did get new numbers thanks to a subscriber who, <laughs> who felt bad for my number two that I didn't have a number two. So um, now that I have a number two, so thank you to that subscriber. Again, I don't know if she wants me to use her name. So ES, thank you so much for your gift. So number one will be $5. And that is size six and three quarters. Here's the other part of that necklace that was broken. So I will include that with the other piece in the craft lot. 
This is what I found in the bottom of the bag before I turned it into a craft lot. It looks like a little pendant. That's cute, <clears throat> but I'll put that in the craft lot. Let me bring you guys in a little closer. Okay. That might be too, too close because now I think I might be hitting the camera, but we'll see. All right, here's another piece of that necklace. Yeah, it might be a little close now. All right, here's a little bracelet. That's just gonna go into craft. This looks like it might be a nice necklace. Move you guys out of the way. Okay, we definitely got a big old knot right here. Don't know if I'll be able to get it out quickly, but we'll try for a little bit, and if not, I'll just pause the video and work on that. These, if it's, this looks like a multi-strand necklace. Usually these necklaces are always the ones to get all jumbled up. So where's the other side of the clasp is what I'm wondering. Here it is. All right, I'm not gonna, let me see if I could just pull this a little bit and see if it comes out. Cause I'm not gonna sit here and do this all day. Um, so that's just gonna be one piece. We'll find something to maybe go with it. This is also broken. It doesn't even have the little thing to connect it anymore. So that'll go into craft. We have a little A necklace by MDE. That's nice. Just needs a little cleanup. Um, there is an extension, but without it, we're looking at, geez Louise, a eight and a half inch drop. So I'm gonna put that with this necklace. You get two necklaces in one, number two, and we'll do that one for five bucks. Now I actually have a number two. No more paper number two. Thank you, my subscriber. Okay. And this looks like a big old mess too. So we're just gonna put that right into crafting and I'll sell you the craft lot afterwards. That's another piece from that necklace. So we'll just stick that in the craft lot too. All right, she did say that there was gonna be some single earrings. So this might be the bag of that. <laughs> So um, let's show them one at a time and all of these will be two for a dollar. Yeah, these look like all single earrings. Okay, so all of these, you can just give me the timestamps um, cause I'm not going to bag them up and number them cause that's just gonna be way too much. So just give me the timestamp as I hold it up, two for a dollar. Um, I mean, some of these might be sterling. Don't know. I don't think this one is. If I do find a match, I will obviously match it up. That does say 925 on the back. Well, it is what it is. I don't know. I'm not going to test the single earrings. That one's pretty. Silver tone with the blue. So two for a dollar, just give me the timestamps on these. This one's like a brass metal. Oh, that one's really pretty. That one's really cool. Like I said, if I do find any of the matches, we'll just go back and meet them up. That's just a gold tone. This one, I thought maybe um, Bakelite, but no, just, just some acrylic. Canvas, and it's like a pagoda or something, I think it's called, gold tone. 
That one's pretty. Silver tone with the flowers. This one's cool. Too bad we didn't have that match. But we'll see. I don't know. I'm just going through them. And we'll figure it out as we go. It's cool. We have this really cool one with the metal stars. Very 80s. That one's cool. Looks like somebody added these black pieces onto it. Got another little retro piece. I thought maybe this one might be sterling, but eh, probably not. Got this one, silver tone metal, gold tone metal. Got a little stud. Got this guy with the wood pieces. This one, screw back, I'm missing something there. Got uh, gold, I mean, silver tone with the green. Got that little guy, probably matched that necklace that was broken that we put into craft. Oh, look, these are mate. Oh, but wait. It, those might need, that might need to be reattached, but it might be okay. So I'll sell those together just still as two for a dollar. So still for 50 cents, because I don't know if it can be fixed completely. That's really pretty. Little yellow guy. <clears throat> Little clip on. Ooh, that one's cute. Silver tone. This one's gold tone, pretty. It's pretty with the little bead. Oh, we got a ring in here. This might be sterling, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that to the side. We'll look at that when we're done with the earrings. Wait, I think I see this mate. It's over here. Let's see. Yeah, we got this guy. So we can do those. Wait, it goes like that. Okay, so those will be number three. And we'll do those for two bucks. Two dollars, number three. Sounds like glass. And then that's like a plastic. It's not actually wood. So $2, number three. Got this guy, it's acrylic. Gold tone metal. Yeah, there's a few rings in here, so I'm gonna pull those to the side and we'll look at those after. Gold tone. Silver tone, little open hoop. That's just acrylic. Little, that one has a bit of wear. Silver tone. You got, that's really pretty green, almost like a foil. That's cute, somebody can make that into a pendant and make it into a necklace. 50 cents, two for a doll hair. That's really pretty, a little matte gold tone. Oh, that's pretty too. Don't you hate when they don't give you matches in these mystery boxes? Such a bummer. That's pretty. Got a little rhinestone gunmetal hoop. A hoop de dee doop de dee. That's kind of needs to be fixed up. See, that's really pretty. Ugh, oh, so pretty. No marks. Very pretty. Two for a dollar. <clears throat> Cute. Got 
There's another little hoop. It's got some wear to it though. I mean, even if you buy these for the earring backs, it's a pretty good deal, right? That's pretty cool, little like disco ball. You got this one, it's pretty, silver tone. Silver tone little discs. So just give me the time stamp on these and they're two for a dollar. Little clip on. And make sure you're giving me the description with it. Don't just say earring at, you know, 20 minutes, 33 seconds. Make sure that I am getting the right earring and you can say like earring at 20 minutes, 40 seconds with marble looking stone and brown bead. You know what I mean? So I can make sure I'm invoicing you for the right item. Because some of you guys do give me the wrong timestamps. That's really pretty with the enamel gold tone that's like an antique gold tone oh dallas is dreaming you got this guy got this one it's cute little flower a little silver tone flower oh that's pretty some open work gold tone hoop no maker marks this one's cool. This is one of the ones that you can take off, take this off, and then just wear it as a hoop. You would take it off this way. But you can keep this, throw a jump ring on there, and make it into a necklace. Turn that into a pendant for 50 cents. Got this guy. This one with all of the rhinestones. That one says 925, so if you want that, it might be sterling. A little clip on. It looks like uh, ceramic, purple ceramic. Matte gold tone post back. Gold tone with like a little bit of faux leather maybe. Oh wow, look at that one. Matches my nails. I mean this one you can probably turn into a ring. Get a band, take this off, glue this onto the band. That would be cool. Or this way, 50 cents. Pretty little silver tone open work. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like a pink faux pearl. Ugh. Pink faux pearl with the rhinestones. Big. It's a big one. Here is a little silver tone. Here's a little gold tone guy. Gold tone. That's really yucky. Clear and green, a little black. Ugh, that's missing a bunch of stones. They're just acrylic. Oh, that's cute. See, that would make a good, a cute little pendant. Really pretty, throw a jump ring on that. And a chain, 50 cents. All right, so those are all the earrings. Now these rings were in the mix, so let's check these out. This one is actually broken. So if you see that, that's actually broken. So that's gonna go into the craft lot. This one has an A on it, that's really pretty with the like almost watermelon stone, like pink to blue. I don't see any markings on it, but it's in good shape. Silver tone. It is, it's sitting at a six and a half, but it can open up. So I'd say about a seven. 
So six and a half to a seven, number four. And we'll do that for $4, four on four. And then we got this one. We're gonna turn on Pressy and see what these stones are because this is the one that I think, it said something, it's definitely not sterling because look at all the wear on the back. But what does this say? It does say 925, doesn't it? Yeah, I don't think so. Why would it have all that wear on the back? Let's see, I don't have any, of course, I don't have anything to test with here. So let's see. Yeah, I don't think so. Nope, it's a faker. It is a faker. So I doubt these stones are going to be anything at all. No. Okay, so that'll go into craft. It is not sterling. Let me just um, clean my mat off because that's kind of... Kind of grossed me out a little bit. All right. Okay, let's keep going. And we'll grab another bunch of things. Oh, God. Okay. There's the stuff in this little baggie. Let me get that out. Okay. So these are like a plastic. I'm going to take these backs off because that's kind of, they don't match. I will put new backs on and they kind of got like an orangey red color to them. Pretty cool. Let's see if maybe we can do a little earring lot. These are missing stones. So those are going to go into craft. Um... I don't see any more earrings right now. Maybe we can put this with it since that kind of goes. This looks like it might be an anklet. This is 11 inches, so that can probably be an anklet with the reddish brown stones. And then we'll throw those in with it. Number five, and we'll do them both for five bucks, five on five. Remember guys, all of the money minus my PayPal fees are gonna go to Adora Bullies Rescue. So even if maybe you may like something just a little bit, maybe you'll buy it just so the money can go to the doggies. Okay, so this is really pretty. This is Premier Designs right here. You got glass beads on here and acrylic. This is a memory wire bracelet so it'll fit any wrist size. So we'll do that one, that's number six. And we'll do that one for $5. Uh, actually, let me get a bigger bag because that's not going to fit. I said $5, right? Yeah, $5, number six on the Premier Designs. Dallas, don't be jealous, that's where we got you from. <laughs> All right, we have Da Vinci little earrings and necklace set. So you got the little gunmetal in black, and then you got oh wow, that's pretty. Oh, but bummer, it's missing stones. So it's missing one here and two over here. Oh, three. All right, so that's gonna have to go into craft. This is definitely cold. It is definitely a rose quartz. There's a little bit of wear along the thing that holds it, 
and a little bit of wear on the clasp, but otherwise not bad. You're gonna need, you might need the extender. It's only about a seven and a half inch drop. Let's maybe put it with the, oh no, that's missing stuff. So that's gonna go into craft. How about we, all right, let's just do it with that one. Number seven, and we'll do that for $2. $2, number seven. All right, let's see what this is, because this looked like it could possibly be sterling. Definitely says something. I don't know what that says, but it's definitely INC. Jonah ink or something like that, maybe. Let's see this side. Joma. Joma? I think it's Joma. So this is definitely quartz faux show. Let's try to... Wait, let me get my other one that's dry. Sorry. Um, hmm. I don't think so. I do not believe it is. Let me see if anything comes up on the good old eBay. Yeah, I mean, it comes up from United Kingdom. Sterling silver, yeah, so what the heck? That'd be nice. Oh, a lot of these are saying silver plated. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, because it doesn't say 925. I just thought it, it looked like it. So I'm not going to sell it as sterling, but it is very pretty. This will probably need a polish. Um, so let's get you the total length. Eighteen inches. Let's make sure that this, yeah, okay, we're good. So 18 inches, Joma, clear quartz, number eight. Um, let's do that one for $15. Remember, all of the proceeds going to Dora Bully's Rescue, minus my PayPal fees which is 5% plus a, sta um, a standard transaction fee, which I have to look because the, it depends. So I have to, once somebody pays, I have to look at what the fees are. So I'll take that off and then the rest go to the rescue. All right, this is gonna go into craft. These are acrylic beads. The heart ones have a lot of damage. This is cool. Um, this needs to be reattached but other than that this is fine um no well, it has a lot of discoloration on the chain i'm just going to put that in craft this piece looks cool let's look at this this is very cool i like this a lot um, I don't see anything missing, so that's good. Little teeny itty bit of wear. I don't really think it's anything major. There is an extender on it, but without it, it's an eight inch drop. So really cool um, collar necklace. Really neat. Number nine, and I gotta find a bigger bag for this one, so. 
Let's do that for six bucks. Okay, did she put that in there specifically for me? How cute. I don't know if she did or not, but I'm going to keep it. That's really cute. There we go. Well, I'm going to put it the other way so people can see the K. There we go. So I'll wear that for the rest of the show. <laughs> Very cute. Okay. Let's keep it going. All right, these are peeling, unfortunately. So we'll put that into craft. Um, this one's missing some, some stuff. It looks like somebody added these rhinestones, but it'll go into craft. like we might have some bangles we can lot up. Let me see if I, yeah, I see a few more in the box. So let me grab and then we'll make a little lot. All right, let's do these. So we have this one. It's pretty. It's gold tone with these little blue beads. It is a size eight. Then we have this one with all the rhinestones. It's gold tone. This is also an eight. We have this silver tone one. That's actually an eight and a half. And then you got this gold tone one, which is eight and a half. So you can have a nice little stack, four bangles. Let me get a bigger bag. These are number 10, and we'll do them all for $5. Okay, this is going to go into craft. Actually, no, this is actually in good shape. So this is actually acrylic black and like a swirl gray and then like a almost like a see-through gray and then it has this suede which looks pretty real to me black suede and then your clasp so you might have to give that a little bath but i think it's in good shape it's a 17 inch drop and it does have an extender number 11 and we'll do that for $5. Okay, this I'm just going to put into crafting. There's a lot of um, silver tone wear but I'm sure you can still pick out some of this chain and maybe make it into a couple necklaces. Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh, I see all the stones. All the stones are there. Really nice. This reminds me of Lucky Brand. Nope, Stella and Dot. Okay, even better. So that's really, really pretty. They got the druzy with this um, rhinestones, and then you got all these cool beads, and then you have your extender. So without using the extender, it is a 14 inch drop. Stella and Dot, number 12. And we're gonna do this one for $10. $10, number 12. <coughs> Excuse me. 
<clears throat> excuse me, geez Louise. All right, this looks like a little bracelet with these really cute flowers and enamel. All right, let's lay it flat so I can take a measurement. It can go from seven to nine inches, seven to nine inches, silver tone, number 13, and we'll do that for five. Five dollars, lucky 13. All right, this guy is gonna go into craft. It's got wear on the high points. But if you don't mind, then you got yourself a cool necklace and craft. Ooh, this is cool. Very gothic looking. Oh, it says hard rock on it. Huh. That's a little random. It actually, does it, ma does it go on here? This metal doesn't match this metal. So it's different. So I'm actually just going to put this into crafts because I don't think this belongs on here. So somebody might have to do another little rearrangement, but it'll be in craft for you. And once we finish this, these pieces here, I'll tally up the craft lot and we'll start another one. Okay, yeah, that's just going to go into craft, all that. All right, so here's the first craft lot. Okay. So we will do that craft. Maybe this time I won't forget the other one like I always do. Craft lot number one, and we'll do $10. Okay, so you just have to tell me craft lot number one for $10. Well, I'm going to go get another um, Ziploc bag. And while I do that, please look at the ordering instructions. Okay, let's keep going. And we'll get some more out of this box. Oh, this is cool, but it's gotta be restrung. So that's Stella and Dot as well, and these are all stone and gold tone. So someone's gonna have to restring this, but that is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Um, so that'll have to go into crafting, unfortunately. You got this big ol', you can see me, hi. Oh geez, Dallas thinks I'm talking to somebody. <laughs> so this is a nice big ol' cuff. Let's take this off so I can show you the cuff because that is like totally warrior princess style <laughs> so this is I would say it's about a six and a half um I'm not I don't think a bit I don't think I have a bag big enough to fix that uh fit that but um let's try so that'll be number 14 and we'll do that for five dollars five dollars number 14 it's in good shape. Nope, it doesn't fit. Okay, we'll just leave it. We'll just leave it there like that. So this might be the pure pure vita. Yes, pure vita. And uh, but this is all glass. white faceted stones and then your little tassel at the end very pretty there is no um clasp so it just goes over the head 12 inch drop number 15 and we'll do that for five dollars five dollars number 15. that was my chair 
what? This might actually be real because I had that Dior ring with a bow that I thought was fake. Um, and it wasn't. So let's just see. Dior two finger ring. You guys, hold on. We're getting a little off subject here. Let's see if there's any sold, none. All right, let's see if we can Google image search this. It's not signed, so this might be a fake one, but you never know. Yeah, Dior inspired. I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more. Um, I'll see if I can, you know, look into it a little bit more and maybe put up some info on the screen. And you guys will know. On the bottom of the screen. I'll give you the sizes though. One side is a nine and a half, the other is a nine, but it does look like it's a little bit adjustable, so they're not attached at the bottom. So it'll go like that. Okay, so I'll have some info on the screen. We have a little, this is one of those collar, lit a literal collar necklace. It is modern though, but it's very pretty. Let's give you the total length. It can go from 12 to 15 inches, 12 to 15 inches. Number 16. And we'll do that one for six dollars. Sixteen number. Whoops, six dollars. I dropped my marker. Okay. This is pretty. Gold tone with the faux pearl cross. No maker marks, but it looks like it's in good condition. There are a couple little hairs in it. Let me get that out now. Okay, really good condition. It does have an extender. 10 inches on the drop without the extender. This would be a nice layering necklace and then wear some smaller chains, smaller and shorter chains with it. Really cool. So number 17, and we'll do this one for $6 as well. <clears throat> What's this? It looks, all right, let me undo it. This is a TOFA, T-O-F-A. Looks like a slider bracelet. Slider charm bracelet of Cheer Girls. That's in good shape. See a Tofa, T-O-F-A. This one is a size seven. And let's see if eBay has anything about that. Tofa cheer leader bracelet 
so it looks like they're that guy's a little high huh 30 bucks but that one is the only one that's gold gold which is the one we have and none sold okay well seven inches number 18 and we'll do it for 10. how about that it's in really nice condition 10 bucks number 18. Okay, that's going to go into crafting. Oops, I just knocked stuff over. F and F, Alex and Ani. Number 19. We'll do that for five. Let me just organize this. The numbers all fell down in my bin here. All right, we have a spoon bracelet. don't know if the if this is sterling it might be so let's check it out yes it is it is it is Okay, it looks like it has a magnet closure. Yep. Very pretty with the sunflowers. <coughs> it's seven and a quarter inches. Seven and a quarter inches. Number 20. And we'll do that for 20. 20 on 20. Oh, this is cute. Got little enamel sections. Don't think it's sterling. Oh, wait. Nope, it's Premier Design. Very cool. All different color enamel. Seven inches. Seven inches Premier Design. Number 21, $5. Leah Sophia, gold tone. Look how pretty that is. Gorgeous. Multi strand. With an ex extender. Nine inches on the drop without it. Beautiful. Number 22. We'll do that one for eight. Eight dollars, number 22 on the Leah Sophia. All right, I'm not going to fix that right now. So it's these little dangle silver tone earrings number 23 $2 this is going to go into a craft lot it is very discolored number 24 
We have this chain. This looks like a bracelet, actually. So it can go from um, eight and a half to nine inches, eight and a half to nine inches, double strand, gold tone. Number 24, $5. Fellas, what are you growling at? Hmm? Mm -hmm. You got this pretty. Silver tone with a clear rhinestone heart. Yep, just silver tone. There is an extender. Without it, it's a nine inch drop. Let's add something to it. Let's do this chain that has a barrel clasp. It is a box chain, silver tone. This one is 16 inches, so you get both. Number 25, and we'll do $6. $6 for both, number 25. This has a maker, Express. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is pretty. So it's got these like, oh, it's missing a strand. Oh, the strand broke. All right, so that's gonna be crafting. And then we got this one. This is also Express. That's pretty cool. Mm, I'm gonna put that in craft too. It's got some, got some boobies on it. Let me just clear this off again. Okay. Let's get. I'm gonna pour the rest out onto the table because there's not too much left. All right, that's the end of the box. The box, the box, the box. This is cool. I don't know that brand. Lucarol? That's really pretty. I'll have to see if I can get it working. Is this sterling? I use sterling. Because that would be cool. Oops, I kind of missed the line. It is. Look at that, you guys. That's sterling. So I'm going to hope that I can change the battery on that. And I will let you know on the screen. This I don't think is sterling, but that is. I think these were added onto here. So I will um, let you know if I'm able to change the battery and get it working. It is about a six and three fourths to a seven. So I'll let you know on the screen. Okay, I'm just gonna pop in here real quick about this watch. I opened up the back, there was no battery in it, so I don't know what size that it takes. However, all of the batteries that I do have do not fit in here. So um, I'm kinda at a loss. So I'm just going to sell this as is for $10 and you'll have to take it to a jeweler so they can find out what kind of battery goes in there, like what size, and get you one. Because since the battery was not in there, I don't know what size it is, and none of the batteries I have fit. Um, so I also can't guarantee that it works. So as is, no guarantee that it works, $10. Um, craft. 
Be free. Little words project. We'll put that in craft. Ooh, this might be, um, no, I think it's just acrylic. It's very, very, very tiny. Actually, it's not. This is only, this is size seven. It looks like it's tiny. I couldn't get that over my hand. So uh, we'll put that in craft. Silver, but we're missing the bead on the top there. So that'll go into craft. Casting crowns. We'll put that into craft. It it could use a new chain. There's a little shark tooth necklace. That's not in bad shape. Maybe we can do a little lot with that. Maybe we'll put that this guy in there too. Right? A little hematite elephant. The drop on that is nine inches. So you'll get that with a shark tooth. And what else? Let's maybe throw this in here. I mean, who knows? That could be jet. Who knows if that's jet? Not me. It's definitely glass. So that could be worth something. 12 inches. We put that in there. And all that is number 26. And we'll do all that for $10. I'd rather get it sold and get the money to the rescue than to maybe price it too high and then get stuck with it and then the money doesn't help the doggies. So 10 bucks, number 26, let's help the doggies. And then I will obviously show you guys that I made a payment to them. I will prove it. There's pretty little earrings. Do we have maybe something else we can put with this? Nope, that's missing stones, so we'll put that in craft. Dallas, here, I'll give you this. That kind of goes, right? This is an intaglio cameo where it's um, carved from the back glass so that'll go all three together number 27 and we'll do all of that for eight dollars that alone is worth more than eight dollars but again I'd rather it go to the puppies and the doggies that need homes okay what's this it's just a little rhinestone. This is pretty though, look at this. This is acrylic blue, gold tone with the clasp. Really cute, really cute. The drop on it is 18 inches. 18 inches on the drop, very pretty. Number 28, and we'll do that for five. This was kind of cool. This is probably milk glass. Do I see something written on there? Possibly. No. Nope. I thought maybe gold filled, but no such luck. Um, seven and a half inches on the drop. Really pretty. Milk glass. Ooh, let's pair it with this. Look at that. Like a little um, leaf design. Mm, I don't know if that's amber. Oh, it might be. Silver tone, though. These are glass. 
Oh, it's Monet. Look at that. It's Monet. So, um, let's see. It does it does have an extender. Without it, it's only a 7 inch. So it can go from 7 to 8 inch drop. So we'll give you both. We'll give you the Monet and the um, milk glass. Number 29. And we'll do both for $8. That's gonna go in crafting, looks like glass. Okay, this has a lot of wear, unfortunately. So that'll go into craft. Dolly, please stop it, honey. There's nobody here. This looks like a little charm bracelet. Hudson, what does that say? Hudson High School. 1964, that'll go into craft. Here's another one that is very, very worn, craft. Here's a little beaded necklace, blues and blacks. Probably a cool little choker. It can go from 14 inches to 17 inches. 14 to 17 inches. And let's pair it with this. This is all acrylic. Just a light blue beaded necklace, no clasp. This is a 23 inch drop, 23 inch drop. We'll put that together. And we'll throw that in with it. That's a, a clear blue and green little pendant. So you get all three, one money, number 30, and we'll do all that for $6. That's two bucks a piece. All right, what else do we got? This looks like a little bracelet. Maybe it was on backwards. There we go. Um, it seems like it's in pretty good shape. It is six and three fourths, six and three fourths inches. And you know what? We'll pair it with this. Cause look at that. That goes nicely, right? Look at that with the little mushrooms on it. How cute. No maker marks, but look at all those charms. It is a seven and a half inch drop, but you do have an extender. So you got a nice little set there. Number 31. And we'll do them both for $5. All right, let me change out this bin. Okay. Ooh, look at this. Do we have all the stones? I think we do. But it has some wear on the back. Oh no, we don't. Oh wait, do we? Yeah, they're just they were just sliding a little bit. So I nope. No, I think we do have them all. They just are sliding around a little bit. So I think we're good. It's only a seven inch drop. Let me see, because this is a really big loop right here. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to really test that. So, you know what, I'm just gonna put this in craft because I don't, I don't like all that wear. And I like, you know, I like the stuff that I sell to be wearable and in good condition. So I'm going to just put that in craft. Oh, this is cool. This is another hard rock piece. But again, it has a lot, a lot of wear. So that'll go into craft. But maybe somebody can upcycle that or repurpose it. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, a, cru a crucifix. Okay. So um, 
we'll do that. Um, let me put it in a regular baggie. Um, let me see. Get one of these bags. Um, this will be number 32 and we'll just do $2 on it. Okay. $2. Oh, this is an Alex and Ani. Look at that. Love. It definitely needs a um, polish. Jeez Louise. And number 33, and we'll do that one for five. That one might even be sterling. Who knows? But again, I want things to sell so we can donate to the rescue. We have a little choker, but we're missing one of the blue pieces, so that'll go into craft. This is pretty. This is a little necklace with these little um, dangles. There's a lot of hair in this. Ugh. Um, it does have an extender, so let's see. It can go from 13 inches to 16 inches, 13 to 16 inches, and look, let's put these earrings with it. Those go a little bit, right? Look at that. That matches. Gold tone, really pretty. So you get both. Number 34. $5, $34, $5. Get the orange earrings and the multicolor necklace. These are little screw backs, no, clip-ons. Screw back and clip-ons with that little person, that little thing. So we'll do those, number 35. Two bucks. Here's a little ring, that's pretty. Silver tone with a faux stone. It's like a blue-gray stone. Eight and a quarter, really pretty. Number 36. And we'll do that for $4. Four bucks. Here's another little ring, but this one is very worn, so that'll go into craft. This guy looks okay. Let's put these two together. So this is a little stretch bracelet. That's pretty cool, right? Gold tone with the rhinestones, so that'll go on any wrist. This one is glass with the spring ring closure. That one is seven inches. So we'll do both of those, number 37, and we'll do those both for four. Looks like we got some nice earrings here. Look at these, these are nice. Gold tone, really excellent condition. Nice big wavy hoops, definitely a larger. Hoopity doop diddy. These will be number 38. We'll do those for three. Ooh, this is pretty. Look at that. Wow. It looks like there is some damage on this. 
This might be like a check glass or something. And there is some wear to the metal. Quite a bit, actually. So I'm going to put this in craft. Maybe somebody can maybe at least save that piece. So that'll be in craft. We got this pretty brooch. Look at that. This reminds me of Black Hills. <gasps> yes, look. 10K. So Black Hills um, does gold and they do it in different colors. So yeah, Black Hills Gold, I think that the brand is. I don't think I've ever seen one of their brooches. I've definitely seen one of their, like a lot of their rings. I think that, I think I was scratching the pin on that one. So let's not do that. Let's not do that scratch. All right, so 10 carat. And while we watch that line, make sure it doesn't get swallowed up by the acid. Let's do some research. Black Hills Leaf Brooch. You guys, check this out. <gasps> Look right there. Boom diggity. 139 bucks it's selling for. That'll make a nice donation to the rescue. All right, let's see if any sold. Yep, for 110.91 on bid. 83 on bid. Okay. Okay, yay! So that's awesome. And the line is still holding, so I think we're good. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. So I want this to sell so I can donate the money to the dog rescue. So I'm going to price it very fair. And we're going to go with $75, which is the lower than the lowest sold. $39, $75, okay? 10 karat gold, Black Hills brooch. And the money goes straight to the doggies. 39, number 39. Obviously minus PayPal fees. All right, so here is a little, that was awesome. Here's a little, um chain with a lock on it this says something 18 karat gold filled but I don't get it because this is on the end of the chain wouldn't you want it to be as a pendant maybe somebody can switch that around if they want so it does have an extender it's a uh, eight inch drop without the extender. And let's put this with it. <laughs> Baby girl, a little gold tone Figaro chain necklace with an extender. Seven and a half inch drop without the extender. So you'll get both of those. Number 40 and we'll do them both for $5. Okay, last item. We're gonna have to put this in craft because it is very worn on the chain, but it's got some really cool pieces to upcycle or repurpose with. So that'll go into craft. All right, let's not forget the other craft lot. So here it is. Okay, so you got all this in here and we're gonna do this for $10 as well. So just ask for a craft lot number two for $10. All right, guys. So that was everything that was in the box that was donated by my lovely subscriber. Um, so I will 
just stay tuned because we're going to open up the thread up box. I just want to clean this off and wash my hands and then I'll bring out the thread up box and we'll keep going. Um, so remember all of the money minus my PayPal fees will be going to the um, Adora Bully Rescue from you know the beginning of the video to now. All right, so I will pause, wash my hands, wash this up, and we'll okay, you guys. Okay. So here are the ordering instructions. Again, um, we're doing a number of video. Give me the number and a brief description. Send your request to this in uh, email address. Please check the sold list. You can refresh the video as many times as you want to see the most updated list. Um, let me know if you want me to hold for the current week. Um, I will have to invoice you for the items themselves but I don't, I won't invoice you for shipping and I can hold for the week. If you do not advise me to hold, I will add shipping and ship your items. All right, so let's keep going. All right, so this is the, let me bring you guys up a little bit. This is the um, Thread Up 15 piece mixed jewelry rescue box. It is from Swanee, Georgia. It can be found on threadup.com under rescues. Um, they do not announce when they release these boxes. It is all completely random and you literally have to just keep checking the website over and over and over again until you may possibly catch one. Okay. I ordered this on March 11th. It's a 15 piece mixed jewelry for $54 plus tax and shipping. Um, I think with my, oops, my tax and shipping, it comes out to somewhere around 70 bucks because I live in the wonderful state of New York who taxes and robs you every step of the way. Okay. <laughs> so let's open it up. I do reuse all of this stuff because as a full-time reseller and business owner, you really have to reduce, reuse, and recycle. All right. All right, so the 15 pieces are supposed to be a better selection of jewelry. There's not supposed to be anything missing or damaged, and it's supposed to be like better quality, better brands, stuff like that. So we will count everything as we go. I don't know where to put this all because I have no room on my desk whatsoever. Okay. Let's start with the Talbots box. Ooh, so now I am going to renumber these starting, oh no, I shouldn't do that, starting at number one because then it will be tricky with the other thing. Okay, so I'm gonna start these at, actually we can just keep going because the next number is 41 and that'll kind of be like number like number one to start with the new lot so that actually works out good so never mind don't work don't listen to me <laughs> so this is really really pretty look at this so it is new in the box Talbots marked down to 59.99 there's your Talbots mark usually it's a, a T and these look like Baroque pearls that may have had just like a um, coating over them. It is very long. And you can have the Talbots on the side if you want. Or you can wear it so it's half and half like that. So you can definitely wear this a few different ways. Or you can put this, you know, here so that it makes it more of a regular style necklace. Dallas, please stop it, baby. There's nobody here. <laughs> Number 41, the Talbots, is going to be, let's get a post-it because I don't want to write on the Talbots box. Where's my marker? Where did I put my marker? Really? Where did it go? All right, we'll have to use a different marker because I don't know where it went. Oh my gosh, what the heck? All right, whatever. So we'll do this for $14, number 41. 
very weird how it would just disappear like that. It's not on the ground. It's not on the, all right, whatever. I'll have to find it later. Definitely reuse these. Love those bags. All right, so let's do this one, J. Crew. Let's see if that's what it is in there. Ooh. So it's not. It's a Stella and Dot. <laughs> tricky, tricky. All right, but all the stones are here. This is very pretty. It's red and like um, it's like a gray. All right, we are going to. Put that on silent. All right, so this is very pretty. It's in very good condition. It does have an extender. Eight and a half inch drop without the extender. Um, I'm not gonna give that to you unless you want it because it doesn't go. But if you want it, let me know in the email. You can have it. Otherwise, it's number 42. And we'll do this one for 10. Really nice condition on the Stella and Dolph. Okay, let's see what's in this box. Green Amazonite teardrop earrings. Ooh, ooh la la. Okay. I don't think they're sterling. I don't see any marks on the hooks but they are very pretty. They are a little, little heavy. So if that bothers you, you might want to skip these, but they are beautiful and in excellent condition. So we'll go with it. Number 43. And we'll do these for $10 as well. Let's do these items. Hold on. Okay. Majuri. Ooh, what's in here? Earrings. Really pretty. Do they say anything? Hmm. Don't think so. But if you look in here, there's actually an M right there. I wonder if these are gold. It kind of looks like it could be gold. Oh. They are Vermeer, 925. So let's do a little test quick. So these should test as sterling. Yes, we do have some blue coming through. So very cool, really pretty uh, Vermeer hoops, open hoops, post back. They probably need a little bit of a polish, but really pretty. So these, I'll give you the box. It's in a ring box, which is kind of weird, but it's okay. Um, these are number 44. And we'll do these for 20 bucks. Okay. 
Ella something, I can't see what that says. Ella Ray. Double layer starburst, $178, wow. Oh, that's pretty. So it has the two chains. Let me undo this because it's a little, there we go. That's pretty. So it does say something on the thumb. 925, beautiful. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna give you a little measure. It can go from 14 inches to 16 inches. Should we test that stone? Let's test it. Nine two five Ella Ray. We'll wait for Pressy. This is number forty five. Oops. All right, any minute now. La, 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 la. Okay. Ooh, wait, I slipped off of it. It's a slippery stone. I think that's a clear topaz. Very nice. Okay, so we will do the Ella Ray, not for $78, but we will do it for 50. How about that? Beautiful. Verme, brand new with tag, makes a great gift. Okay, that's a, that was a good score. Oh, this is pretty. Look at this. <gasps> With the abalone. Wow. That definitely says 925 and something else I can't see. Oh, CI 925. And then you have the 925 right there. Beautiful. Yep. Beautiful. Let's measure it. It's an 18 inch necklace, absolutely gorgeous. It's number 46 and we'll do that one for 25. I really would love to know what happened to my marker. I mean, I literally, all I did was get up and go wash my hands and it's gone. <laughs> So weird. Okay. All right, next, let's open up another bag. We have two more baggies after this one. Okay. I also love reusing these bags. Ooh, this is a loft, okay. Gold tone, beautiful. I really like this with like the whitish gray acrylic in between. It does have an extender. The drop is eight inches without it. Beautiful condition. Loft, gold tone, number 47. And we will do that for $10. That's really nice, guys. Someone hop on that, 10 bucks.
All right, what's this? Oh, this is a bracelet. How chunky. I love chunky jewelry. Um, I don't see any marks, though. Any um, branding. No. Nope. So it is if you can roll it on correctly. Let me say something here. Because when you put this on, it's gonna be, I would say it's about a six and a half. Six and a half. Number 48. And we'll do that for eight dollars. All right, then we got this. Oh, there's a few things in here. I wonder if they're counting this all as one thing. Let's count the rest of the items really quick. So that would be nine. Ten. Nope. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Okay, so they gave me one extra piece. Okay, so that's fine. I just wanted to count to see if they included this all as one or what, but they actually included one of these as two. I mean, two of these as one. Okay, so let's keep going. So we got one extra piece. We got some acrylic, kind of like Pac-Man <laughs> looking earrings. Usually these are like a um, bobble bar or sugar fix, but I don't see any markings. So that's number 49. And we'll just do those for $3. I found my marker, you guys. It was under all these bags because I put them up on my desk. So I covered the marker. I knew I wasn't going crazy. I'm like, I just had it. <laughs> I, okay. So these look nice. Ooh la la. We might need to turn Pressy on again for these. So these have the um, inside half stone too. So no matter which way you turn your head, you see stones. Very nice. Um, I don't think I see any markings though. Always check both because sometimes they'll only be on one earring. I think I found it. 925, it's upside down, but it's there. Yeah, so those are definitely good. Let's test the stones out. Nope. Probably just glass. It moved a, it moved a little bit. And I will um, test everything after. Um, and if anything does come up as not sterling, I will let you know on the screen. I just, for time purposes, I just wanna keep going. So number 50, and we will do these for 25. Really, really nice and not too big. Beautiful glass and 925 sterling. Okay, let's finish in here. We got a ring, I love getting rings. Rings are my favorite jewelry item. Oh, let me turn Pressy back on because that might be a diamond. That might be a diamond. Mm, 
or not because I don't even see any markings and I don't think that this is gold. Hmm. It might be a vermeil. Definitely not gold. Here's hair. Yeah, no markings. But it doesn't always mean that it is just precious metal, but it doesn't look like precious metal to me, but it's not magnetic, which could also mean it's plated, like a rhodium plating or something. I can't even get in there because see how it's like down in the ring? I can't even, I can't even get in there. Let's see if I can get it from the other side. Nope. Oh wait, it was going. I wasn't looking. Yeah, I think maybe just a CZ or glass. Okay. Um, let's put that away. Let's see what size it is. Size seven. Try and think if I should try to. I don't think it's gold. Size seven. Pretty. Number 51, let's use the same bag, and we'll do that for eight. Okay, what else did we have in here? So we have these guys. So these can be worn two ways. You can wear it as just the stud or you can put the stud in your ear and then put this through the back of your ear where your lobe will sit right here. Okay, so you got two different ways to wear this. I think they're just gold tone. Yeah, I don't see any maker marks, but they're in excellent condition. Those are number 52 and we'll do those for $4. All right, these are J. Crew. These are really pretty. Look at that. Wow. Gorgeous. J. Crew, excellent condition. Beautiful. Love those. Number 53. Um, oops, I'm running out of bags, so I'll just use what I have on the desk here. We'll do these for, t actually, let's do, let's do those for eight. Those are really nice, but I would like them to have a new home. So number eight, I mean, $8, number 53. Then we go over here. Look at this. That is cool. Hold on, this is stuck. There we go. Wow, look at that. Do we want to guess on the maker? Banana Republic. I was gonna say like Ann Taylor or Loft actually. Wow, this is really pretty. These are purple stones. Then you have the blue, the clear, and the green. And I think everything's here. Gorgeous. Very long chain. Um, there's a little bit of gold tone loss at the top, but not too much. You can probably fit the chain in at any point to make it a little shorter. 15 inches on the drop, 15 inches on the drop. Um, let's give you a nice big baggie. Number 54. And we'll do that for $12. 12, 
12 doll hairs. Okay, last item. Yeah, that was it, right? Yeah. Is, what does that say? Plunder. Plunder is not a bad brand. Pretty good. Quality jewelry. Nice. All of the clear stones are there. It is like a copper, coppery color bangle. Open it up like so to get your arm in there. And it is a seven and a half, number 55. And we will do that for $6. All right, so that is everything, you guys. So I think that was a pretty good box, right? Got some sterling, got some nice pieces. Nothing was missing, like no um, stones were missing, and everything was in pretty good condition. So excellent. I say that was a win. So um, here are the ordering instructions again, and please stay tuned. I will let you guys know how much I am donating to Adora Bullies um, Rescue based on how much I sold from the beginning part of this video. So um, thank you in advance to anybody that makes a purchase from numbers one through 40. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to the two subscribers that I mentioned in this video, one for the donation of the jewelry and one for sending me new cards. Thank you so much. Um, give me a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's free. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.